What's up everyone? The date is the 9th of September 2020 and AMC have announced that The Walking Dead will come to its conclusion with its 11th season in 2022 and it certainly is the end of an era. It leaves just 31 episodes left to tell the story alongside the other shows that they have on the side, Fear The Walking Dead, uh, Walking Dead Well Beyond and also another announcement that's coming out soon uh, to do with a spin-off show after The Walking Dead ends as well as the Rick Grimes film trilogy we will wait for. But we'll waste no time guys and jump straight into the press release on what has been said by AMC. The streets of Twitter went into chaos when the news was broke to the loyal fans of The Walking Dead and just anyone who follows the show all over the years. Everyone is heartbroken. It is very, very sad times for all the fans of the shows. I, for one, am very... It doesn't seem real. I feel like we all thought it was coming. Um, Very, very, uh, We all knew it was coming at some point, but it just didn't seem like it was coming this soon. And uh, I think it's... I know it's obviously, you know, it's a TV show, but it's something that we've invested so much time in and it's going to take some some time to adjust. But I just want to say thank you so, so much to, uh, to, to the team at The Walking Dead and AMC for giving us so much joy all these years and I can't wait to see how the story concludes and I've got high hopes guys but as we say the uh, the news was broken on Twitter and we'll, I'll put the tweet on the screen right now so we can read through it So, breaking, The Walking Dead will conclude in 2022 with an extended 24-episode 11th and final season. In 2023, Angela Kang will return to Helm of Fourth, The Walking Dead series starring Norman Reedus and Melissa McBride. So there we go, guys. Even though it's coming to an end, we are still getting a spin-off with Daryl Dixon and Carol Pelletier. It's very, very exciting, you know. Uh, the story's obviously going to come to an end, but uh, we'll get to see uh, what becomes of Daryl and Carol. It's very, very exciting. They are two fan favourites, and uh, I think uh, most of us would have said that Carol and Daryl uh, wouldn't die throughout the entirety of their time on the show because of a plot armour, to be honest. You know, they, they weren't really going to go anywhere, and I'm, I'm glad to see. I mean, we never know. They might just die in, 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 the, in Season 11 or even, even Season 10. I know it's very unlikely, but, you know, never know and uh, think, think, things can change very very fast uh, with what we're thinking especially with it coming to an end there's probably going to be no boundaries as to what they can do with the characters because um, there's going to be no repercussions apart from uh, public reception afterwards but um, you'd like to think that AMC would maybe keep the, the good the good characters around but I suppose if it packs a big punch and you know makes it really really impactful I guess they would kill some of the big characters off but we just don't know it may just be a, a side story to Daryl and Carol it may be I don't know flash forward 20 years into the apocalypse we just don't know but either way it's very exciting to know that it's not just the end of um, of, of, of two of the favourites, Daryl and Carol, when season 11 comes to an end. To look further into detail, we'll head to the Skybound website. I'll put this up on the screen right now and read out the statement that they put out on there. The Walking Dead, to conclude with the expanded two-year 11th season as the Walking Dead universe continues to expand, groundbreaking flagship series will be followed by a spin-off focused on the Daryl Dixon and Carol Pletier characters run by the current Walking Dead showrunner Angela Kang. Also, I've got to say, what a fantastic job Angela Kang has done with The Walking Dead. Massive props to her. And back to the statement now. And co-created by Kang and Scott M. Gimple. AMC is also developing a Gimple, well, is developing with Gimple, a Tales of the Walking Dead series, a new episodic anthology focused on new and exciting characters, backstories, and standalone experiences, among other planned extensions of the universe. So yeah, guys, as we say, we've got well beyond to still look forward to, and I'm sure uh, Fear the Walking Dead might go on for maybe a couple more seasons, so we've got something going on there with Morgan over there. We've got Dwight over there as well. It's pretty exciting, and uh, you know, with the, the story of Dwight and Sherry coming into coming into fold into the next season, we're going to see lots of hints from the main Walking Dead universe, you know, with uh, the main show of Walking Dead. I think uh, I think there's going to be lots of Easter eggs and, and lots of things we can relate to still as, uh, as the years go on. And you know what? It's a juggernaut of a franchise, The Walking Dead, and uh, I'm sure we'll see different things over the years. But this, uh, this, this, these standalone stories excite me very, very much. I think we're going to see some great, um, some great episodes from uh, from characters gone by. You know, we may see a Rick Grimes episode of something like that. It's, it could be a, as we say, it could be a backstory. It could be um, what they did whilst they were not in the show. So something like that. How they, how they um, met, met the Walking Dead gang, uh, Rick Grimes and Co. Like I, I feel like we're definitely going to get something of Abraham. I feel like he's got a long backstory. Um, just anything like that. Probably a Dixon Brothers uh, backstory. I feel like is uh, definitely in high demand. Um, the one that I thought of in my head. I know it's very very unlikely, but um, I would love to see how Reg and Deanna actually formed Alexandria and the early starts of that. I just think that'd be super interesting. And uh, you know, one for the real hard fans of the Walking Dead because I think when you go really intricate and detailed and deep uh, into the storyline, like that i think it's fascinating to know how things came to be as they are um and i think a beta backstory is definitely impending as well with seeing his life maybe before the apocalypse and how he turned into beta obviously we saw a little bit with alpha and beta in season 10 
But I feel like um, a standalone beta story would be very, very interesting and uh, intriguing for a lot of the fans. Uh, but there's, uh, there's there's countless amounts of, of backstories you could think of, and I think Glenn would be in high demand as well as a backstory there, guys. But you let me know in the comment section who you would want a backstory with or just uh, a standalone uh, episode with. I just think it's so, so exciting to be able to know that some legendary characters could be returning. Um, obviously, for me, I would have loved uh, a Herschel backstory, but unfortunately, with uh, Scott Wilson's uh, unfortunate passing, what a legend he is. He is a uh, fantastic actor a fantastic person um and i just think uh, it's it's a shame we wouldn't get like a herschel spin-off or anything like that but what, what an impact that guy made on the walking dead as a franchise i've got nothing but respect for that guy and uh his character is incredible as well but yeah there's countless amounts of characters you could say you want a backstory of which just goes to prove what a fantastic universe and television program the walking dead is Obviously, with season 11 being the last season of The Walking Dead, we are sat here asking ourselves what's actually going to happen with the story because we've got these three films of Rick Grimes coming out. Is the uh, story going to conclude in the films? Is it going to conclude in The Walking Dead? Because for me, I believe it's going to, uh, a slight part of the story will conclude in the show and then I think everything will go over to the films for the big finale. I mean, what's more epic than a film? You know, it's it's a, obviously a TV show can be epic as well, but taking it from the small screen to the big screen is, uh, is, is quite the big move and I think it'll be really exciting to see things uh, where they end up there but I think it's going to end at the Commonwealth which we've all been anticipating very very shortly uh, there was a, a quick sort of 40-50 second clip that um, that AMC released as part of The Walking Dead coming to an end and uh, at the very end of the clip I'll put it on the screen right now we saw this shot of a Commonwealth soldier which is very very exciting it's the first shot we've seen of a, a, a well it's a very split second shot but you know it's, it's still exciting to see something and it's, it's just teasing it more and more and more as we get to this even bigger world you know for years and years on end Walking Dead's been pulling on this sort of thing of you know the world's getting bigger it's just starting and then it's going to hit this new level of getting bigger when they get to the commonwealth which is so so exciting and i think it will come to an end there but i think there'll be a huge time jump just like in the comics um i think we could see some big deaths but also some big character changes which is super intriguing but either way guys it's going to leave us wanting more we'll all go to watch the films and we'll still be wanting more after that because it's such a fantastic show and uh, we can't get enough of it as for Fear the Walking Dead, I don't know how well it would do standing alone without the Walking Dead as its side partner, so I do believe that the Fear the Walking Dead show has maybe one or two seasons left in it. We've obviously seen this time jump uh, that's coming up in season five of Fear the Walking Dead, with uh, these pictures getting released of Morgan looking much older. Um, and I think that, you know, all these theories about the Fear the Walking Dead characters crossing over to the Commonwealth will come true because it would sort of come full circle um, if Morgan reunited with Rick. Um, it would just it would just seem like it has to happen really because uh, even though Rick may not be at that uh, at the certain Commonwealth there, it's a uh, so-called this group of the CRM that are a group of three, and I do believe Rick and Morgan they started the whole thing and they will end the whole thing together. So I think that'll come full circle there, and to have these characters mix and mingle with one another is going to be really really exciting. Uh, not saying they'll all make it there, but that's just part of the Walking Dead spirit of them not, them not all making it there. Uh, but it just seems like it's the right thing to do to have everyone come together uh, in this big epic finale, whether it be the film or season eleven. Just to briefly touch on the Walking Dead World Beyond, I feel like it's the perfect time. This is uh, Walking Dead World Beyond setting us up for the Commonwealth. You know, when we get these seasons of, uh, of Walking Dead World Beyond, because obviously it is limited to two seasons, it's basically just pitching us up and, and getting us hyped and ready for what could be happening when we see Rick Grimes again. It's this big story that everyone's been waiting for. It will draw in... A, a lot more viewers when it happens because many people tuned out when Rick left the show um, and it, it, people are continuing to leave even though the show's fantastic still we've lost people along the way such as Michonne and Rick and the viewers have, uh, have gone and been lost with them as well and I think uh, when everything comes uh, back into play and Andrew Lincoln returns it's just going to be the most amazing epic sort of thing that we could all ask for and we're all going to be so hyped for it and let's just hope it serves I mean I really hope it will and um, I, I've got I've got high hopes for it I really do and I, I'm excited and I think uh, it's going to be the it's, it's, it's this massive 10 year journey we've we've gone on it's going to be 11 12 years and um it's got it's got to have this big amazing ending that we're all hoping for and uh for do you know I've, I've got faith in in amc and the walking dead team to pull this off and um i'm sure you guys do too as well but that's pretty much all of the updates that we have there it is a sad day for walking dead fans all around it's it, it's, it's not the greatest news but you know what let's just uh, enjoy what we've got left and go out with a big bang and a big hurrah but let me know in the comments your thoughts guys on uh, the walking dead franchise and your opinion 
opinions on anything to do with The Walking Dead because I might just join in, have a good old conversation with you guys because I, I just love chatting about my favourite TV shows with you guys as well. So uh, yeah, don't, don't hesitate to drop a comment who you want to have this episodic backstory, who who what, what you think is going to happen with Carol and Daryl in the spin-off series, uh, Fear the Walking Dead, Walking Dead, well beyond anything like that. Just let me know, guys. But thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next update. I've been your host, Tom Vesey. Good night.